Good morning, good morning, good morning to you all. Happy Sunday. So I am back on this morning to pray with you guys. Um, also to read a scripture with you guys. So feel free to grab your Bibles and open them up and read along with me if you like. Um, if not, go back and read the scriptures when you have free time, okay? Um, so this morning, the Lord had me up at about 4.30 this morning before I even could move. As soon as I opened my eyes, I was like right there in his presence. It was almost like, how do I explain it, God? It was just like you, you open your eyes and instantly you feel him. And I couldn't even control what was happening in that moment. Um, it was just like the tears just started to flood. I mean, Im imagine you opening your eyes and immediately you're in the presence of God and the tears are flowing and you're like, you know that you're crying and then you're moved to pray. So that's what was happening this morning. Um, I was moved to pray. I was moved to, you know, talk with God. I was moved to pray for those in my family, those that I love and care for very deeply and very dearly. Um, I was moved to pray for myself. It just, whew, it, it was just an amazing, amazing time. And I'm still there. I'm still in that time. Um, God is just so good. God is just so good. He is so good. He is so good. Absolutely nobody like him. There will never be anyone like him. There will never be a person that can take his place. And really, in our lives, it should never be a person that takes his place. Um, God is amazing. He is amazing. He is amazing, guys. Um <sighs> If you are alive, if you are, if you are listening to me in this very moment right now, understand that that is a blessing. That is a gift that we are alive, that we are able to even reach God, that we are able to even talk with God, that we're able to even lift up a prayer. That is a blessing. Okay, lots of people take a lot of things for granted until they no longer have it. They no longer have it, okay? So be grateful for the things that God has done for you. Be grateful for the air that you breathe. Be grateful that you have eyesight and you're able to see. Be grateful that you have ears and you can hear. Be grateful that you have a heart that beats blood throughout your body. Okay? Um, without it, we wouldn't be alive. Right? Um, be grateful for your hands. The movement of your hands. The movement of your feet. The movement of your limbs. Be grateful that God gives you the ability to get up every day and go to work. He gives you the ability to hug somebody. He gives you the ability to shake hands with somebody. He gives you the ability to do the things that you do, you know, to uh, create, okay, to make a living, to do things that some people, some other people cannot do. There are people in this world that cannot do what you do, okay? They cannot do what you do. So you have something to be grateful for, whether or not you believe it or not, you know, you, you have something to be grateful for, okay? So if you're sitting there, you feel down and out about something, take time to think about the things that God has blessed you with. Okay, so you may not have this. You may not have that. You may not have certain things right now. But think about the things that God has blessed you with while you're still believing him and walking by faith for the things that you are believing God for. Okay, are the things that he has promised you that you have not yet seen. Okay, but the key to getting God to continue to bless your life is your gratitude. Okay, the fact that you're able to be grateful for the things that God has already done. The miracles he's already performed in your life. Okay, the things he has already done for you. When you are grateful for that. 
when you are just grateful for being able to get up and say, thank you, God, for my life. Thank you, God, that I have a relationship with you. Thank you, God, that what I have with you is unique. Thank you, God, that what I have with you, it wasn't brought on by other people. This was a divine thing that you have done that's between you and I. Thank God for, you know, that you don't have to go through a middle person to get to him. Thank him for that. You know, because a lot of people have to go a lot of places to hear God. Okay, but for a lot of us, we don't have to. For those of us who God's hands are upon, we don't have to. We can get to God. We can get to God wherever we are. Wherever we are, we can get to him and he's going to show up. So thank God that you have the type of relationship with him where you're not waiting to get to a certain place to get to him. God is already with you. You got to him at home and you took him wherever you needed to go. He was with you. And in an instant, in a moment of time, if you need him for an emergency case or situation, you can call on him and he's going to be there because that's the connection that you have. That's the connection that you and I have with God for ourselves. And it's a blessing and it's a blessing and it's something you should not take for granted. None of us should take that for granted. The fact that we can call on God and he will show up. Lots of people are calling on God and he's not showing up. But for some of us, we can call on him and he's going to show up just like that for you in your situation. Whatever that situation may be, he's going to come through for you. Okay, so God had me go there for a reason this morning. And I'm, I'm just letting I'm allowing the Holy Spirit to just use me, just to use me, flow through me. Okay, God is amazing. God is amazing, guys. And if you needed a sign and if you felt like you were unlovable or whatever you feel and you needed a sign to know that God loves you, this is your sign. I'm telling you right now, God loves you. Okay. And if you're, if you, if you feel like, I don't know how to get to him, I don't know what to do to get to him where you are right now, you can start to call upon him. You can ask God into your heart and into your life and he will come. You can ask God to heal you and he will heal you. You can ask God to just bring you closer to closer to him and he will draw you closer to him. Make no mistake about it. Make no mistake about it. So why did that page just change like that? That was interesting. So I was going to read one scripture. And then the, ch the page just changed over to the next page. Give me one minute. Well, this is one right here, man. I'm going to go with what he just turned the page to, and I might even read two. I might even read two. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, guys, let's go ahead with the reading. This may be a little lengthy today, but that's okay because I'm here for it. Whatever the Lord leads me to, okay? Y'all had time to listen to a bunch of other stuff. Y'all gonna have time to listen to stuff you ain't, you probably shouldn't listen to. You take 30 minutes to an hour to listen to a whole bunch of other stuff. You could take time out to listen to God speak uh, through his word, through his word, through his message, um, and through his messenger, Okay. So let's start with Psalms 54, and then I'm going to go down to Psalms 55. Uh, like I said, I was just talking with you guys, and my page just turned on its own. So, yeah, we're going to go with it. Psalms 54, and I'm reading from the Amplified Version. It reads, Save me, O God, by your name. Judge and vindicate me by your mighty strength and power. Hear my pleading and my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth for strangers and 
Insolent men are rising up against me, and violent men and ruthless ones seek and demand my life. They do not set God before them. Salah, pause, and calmly think of that. Behold, God is my helper and ally. The Lord is my upholder and is with them who uphold my life. He, he will pay back evil to my enemies. In your faithfulness, Lord, put an end to them. With a free will offering, I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of every trouble, and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. That was Psalms 54. Let's go with Psalms 55, the next reading. Listen to my prayer, O God, and hide not yourself from my, from my supplication. Attend to me and answer me. I am restless and distraught in my complaint and must moan. And I am distracted at the noise of the enemy because of the oppression and threats of the wicked. For they would cast trouble upon me and in wrath they will persecute me. My heart is grievously pained within me and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me. Horror and fright have overwhelmed me. And I say, oh, that I had wings like a dove. I will fly away and be at rest. Yes, I will wander far away. I will lounge in the wilderness. So law pause and calmly think of that. I would hasten to escape and to find shelter from the stormy wind and temperate. Destroy their schemes, O oh Lord. Confuse their tongues. For I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go about on its walls. Iniquity and mischief are in its midst. Violence and ruin are within it. Fraud and guile do not depart from its streets and marketplaces. For it is not an enemy who reproaches and taunts me, then I might bear it. Nor is it one who has hated me, who insolently, excuse me, guys, insolently vaunts himself against me. Then I might hide from him, but it was you, a man, my equal, my companion, and my familiar friend. We had sweet fellowship together and used to walk to the house of God in company. Let desolations and death come subtly upon them. Let them go down alive to shallow the place of death. Woo! For evils are in their, in their habitations, in their hearts, in their innermost part. As for me, I will call upon God and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning and at noon will I utter my complaint and moan and sigh and he will hear my voice. He has redeemed my life in peace from the battle that was against me so that none came near me for they were many who strove with me. God will hear and humble them. Even he who abides of old. So law pause and calmly think of that because in them, there has been no change of heart and they do not fear rever and worship God. My companion has put forth his hands against those who were at peace with him. He has broken and profaned his agreement of friendship and loyalty. The words of his mouth were smoother than cream or butter, but softer than oil. Yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, releasing the weight of it, and he will sustain you. He will never allow a continuous, con, con, consistently righteous to be moved, made to slip, fall, or fail. But you, O oh God, will bring down the wicked into the pit of destruction. Men of blood and treachery shall not live out half their days. But I will trust in, lean on, and confidently rely on you. So, guys, listen. Though some of our enemies... Um, may have been the closest people to us. They may have 
people we have smiled with, people we have eaten with, people we have prayed for, people we have loved, people we were, uh, we had done no wrong to, we have walked upright with, we have been at peace with them, but they came at us with war. They came at us with knives. They came ready to destroy us. God is going to protect us and he is going to repay the wicked what they deserve. It is not up to us to go out to Pay them back for the things that they have caused us, the harm they have caused us. Yes, why it may we may be right, okay. What we what we feel may be right. Feel what you feel, the Lord is saying, but don't act on those feelings. Give those things to God. Okay, give it to God. Even when He shows you people's hearts and He shows you who they are, give that to God. Okay, don't put yourself in God's shoes and uh, do things that you know that God is the one that should be doing those things other than praying. Okay, so yeah, God is going to take care of these people, these people who have spoke against us, these people who have uh, laughed at us, these people who have uh, did the uttermost things against us, gossip, slandered us, uh, mocked us. These people are under God's judgment. Okay. And so, like I said, in many other videos before, they may not, you may not see what is happening, but believe me, while I'm speaking this to you, God is saying they're under his judgment. They're under his judgment. Do not rejoice, um, about what they are going through or what they are going to, what they are about to experience. Do not rejoice in it, but understand, understand that is God's, um, that is God's way of taking care of you. Okay. That is God's way of making sure that these people understand that they cannot go out here and just touch anybody the way that they can with their words, with their thoughts, with their evil, even in their homes. When they think nobody is listening, God is there listening to them. They are getting judged. Okay. They are getting judged. And the, the thing about it is God wants them to repent. He wants all of us to repent. So for those who are truly repentive and they have a true repentive heart before God, he will forgive them. He will restore them. But for those who are in that moment thinking, okay, well, let me repent because I want to get away from this. Um, what is it, God? They want to get away from the judgment. They want to get away from God's wrath only to go back and continue to do the same evil they were doing against you before. God knows a man's heart. He knows our hearts. They're not, nobody's going to get away with anything. Okay. So just focus and trust God. Okay. Trust God. God has got your enemies. He's not going to let them get away with anything, anything they have done. They're going to have to pay for it. Okay. Whether it be in secret or out loud, they're going to have to pay for it, says the Lord. Okay. So now let's go ahead and get into this prayer, guys. Um, like I said, I'm happy to be on again this morning to pray with you guys. I didn't know I was going to be coming with a bit of a message, but we let God do what he does. Right. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this prayer. So dear heavenly father, we just thank you for this day, this moment, this minute, this hour that we're able to come together and seek you on this beautiful Sunday morning. Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We ask that you will guide and lead us in the things that we are to pray for on this morning. We thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you so much, God, for this life that you have given us, God. We just ask, God, that you would just go ahead and have your way. Have your way this morning during this prayer time, Lord God. And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen and amen. So, dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you this morning, Lord God. We just have your way in us, Lord. We ask God that you will purify our hearts, purify our minds, purify our spirits, purify our dwelling places where we live, <clears throat> purify our churches, purify our children, purify our jobs. God, we ask God that you have your way in our lives and everything that concerns us and everything that we are around, God. Have your way in everything, Father God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we ask God that you will cleanse us, cleanse us of everything, God, everything that is not of you, cleanse us of wrong motives, cleanse us of wrong ideals, cleanse us of wrong thoughts, 
God. Cleanse us of wrong things, God. Cleanse us, God, of wrong people being in our lives, God. Remove us from those people that we are not to be in connection with, Lord God. Cleanse us of bad company, God. Cleanse us of bad things, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Help us, God. Put us on the path, the righteous path. Help us to continue on that path, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, help those who have gotten off the path to come back onto the path that leads us to you, Lord God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, have your way, God. Lead us, God, to those that you will have us to be around, Lord God. Lead us to those who are walking in purpose, Lord God. God. Lead us to those who are supposed to meet with us for this destiny that you have for us, Lord God. Lead us to those with pure hearts and pure motives and pure intentions, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Lead us to those who put you first, Lord God. Lead us to those who care about what you care about, Lord God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Lord God. God, we ask God that anything that's within our bodies, God, any toxins, any poisons, any pollution, anything, God, that is there that needs to come out, God. We pray in the name of Jesus that you take it out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove it in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, any curses that have been spoken over our lives, over our family's lives, over our children's lives, over our grandchildren's lives, over our great-grandchildren's lives, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we cancel those curses, Lord God. We cancel those curses curses, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus, anyone that's stealing our energy, anyone that's stealing our time, anyone that's stealing our creativity, anyone that's stealing the things that do not belong to them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray your righteous judgment to fall upon those people right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for double and triple for all that we have gone through for following you, Lord God. Let double and triple hit our lives. Let double and triple hit our bank accounts. Let double and a triple hit our health. Let our health be top-notch health, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Mm. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, let triple and double, double and triple hit our families, what they do, what they take on, what they are determined to achieve in this lifetime. Let them achieve those things. Let them hit those goals, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, let nothing and no one stand in their way, God. Let nothing and no way stand in their way of their freedom, of their deliverance, of their healing, of their relationship with you. Let nothing and nobody stand in their way, Lord God. I pray divine protection upon my family on this morning, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, no matter who they are around, whether they are around somebody that's in the middle, middle, someone that's all the way on the left or the right, God, whatever these people, whoever these people are, I pray in the name of Jesus in the midst of evil that you protect my children in the midst of evil that you protect them spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally, that you protect my children and my grandchildren and my great, great grandchildren, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Lord, I pray and I plead the blood of Jesus over over my life, over my purpose, over the people who are coming into my life, Lord God, over my destiny. I plead the blood of Jesus over it, Lord God. And I pray a hedge of protection, a wall of fire to be around us, Lord God, as we move about, as we move about in this journey, Lord God, that nothing that is not of you will be able to get close to us, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that's coming as though they are a brother to us or a sister to us and that is not what it is put a check light in our spirit to let us know Lord God and remove these people away from us Lord God in the mighty name of Jesus glory be to God 
Hallelujah, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, God, that you will increase our faith, Lord God. Increase our faith that we may be able to believe in bigger and better things to happen to us and for us and also for our families, Lord God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Lord, if we lack anything, we ask that you give, give it to us, whatever we may lack. Whatever we may lack, give it to us, God. Hallelujah. Supernaturally, give it to us, Lord God. If it is peace that we need, give us peace, Lord God. If it is strength we need, give us strength, Lord God. If it is knowledge we need, heavenly knowledge, give us knowledge, Lord God. If it is wisdom, give us wisdom, Lord God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We ask God that you will protect our homes, our properties, our children, anything valuable to us, our animals, Lord God. Protect us, Lord God. Let the blood of Jesus cover our states, our cities, our communities in the mighty name of Jesus, regardless, Lord God, or whoever wins in this election, Lord God, you are in control of everything, God. You are in control of everything. And we ask God that you just help us to align ourselves with your will, with your perfect will for our lives, not with what others want us to align with. We don't want to align with the world, Lord God. We don't want to align with the things that they're doing. We don't want to align with other people and their thoughts and all that. Lord, help us to align with your will, Lord God. Lord God, if someone is lacking God, if they are lacking in discernment, bless them with discernment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bless them with discernment, God. Lord, I ask God that if anyone is speaking curses, that people's eyesight will be closed, that they will not be able to see uh, uh, spiritually, that whatever is going on, God, whatever any, any enemy is speaking over our lives, God, we rebuke them in the name of Jesus. We cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. We cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God, which you have given to us. You have given it to us because you trust us, God. Help us, Lord God, to continue in this walk, trusting you, God. Glory be to God. And when we get a little tired or a little bit overwhelmed, God, pick us up, lift us up high above the noise, high above everything, God. Pick us up and lift us up that we may continue to follow you, follow your ways, follow the path you have laid out for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God, we glorify you this morning. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Mm, 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 mm. Have your way, God. As we go about this morning, Lord God, as we go about this morning, God, Lord, put a praise in our mouth. Put worship in our spirit. We glorify you this morning, God. We glorify you this morning and we thank you, God, for always being that trusted, loving father and friend and friend. God, we love you. We look to you today for all that we need. We put all of our plans, all of our concerns and worries, everything before you. We leave these things at your feet. For God, only you have the power to take care of things that concerns us. You have the power to do those things. We fully trust you with whatever you do in our lives, God. Our lives completely belong to you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless us as we move about today, whether it be in church, whether we are at home, whether we are at work, in a car, a vehicle, train, bus, plane, wherever we are, God, protect us. Protect us. Hallelujah, God. Woo! <laughs> protect us, God. And let the blood of Jesus cover us on this morning and on today, God, and for the rest of this weekend. And it's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, guys. So you guys do have an amazing day today. Um, like I said, um, this is going to be good for me today. Um, I spend time with God all the time, but um, just to wake up and he's already working on my spirit and already he's already there loving on me. Um, there, I can think of a more blessed way to wake up 
than in his presence, loving on him, telling him how much I love him, how much I care for him, how much he means to me. Um, whew, y'all, don't waste your time on things that don't that just don't make no sense. Don't waste your time on things. Time is valuable. You cannot get it back. Spend it on what matters. Spend it on God. Spend it on developing your relationship with God and become a stronger, becoming stronger with him and a greater and stronger friend of his. Spend it on that. Spend it on what matters, okay? You guys going God today. I love you and remember God loves you even more. God bless. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Okay? Take care.